you started a charity, Project Frontline. Tell us about that and how's it going? Thank you. Um, yeah, we, gosh, we were sitting around just like everyone, stuck in your homes and wondering how you can help. And uh, we have lots of friends that own small businesses and they were really, really struggling. And then of course the nurses and the doctors Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from DA along the sideline all game long. We've got the San Antonio Spurs and the Chicago Bulls. Here we go. And the Spurs start out with the ball. And the starting group for the Spurs. Duncan is out there with Elliott. Then it's Robinson, then it's Del Negro, and it's Johnson in a point guard. And that's a quick foul for him there. Looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. So it's San Antonio now. Johnson, the pass to Del Negro. Here is Elliott. Just five on the clock. Kept alive. Duncan gets it to go inside. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. It's Pippen with a drive, and he uses the glass on the way up. And Pippen there, driving hard inside, has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. Passes it to Duncan. Elliott against Pippen. Elliott passes to Robinson. Shoots over Longley. Robinson misses. And three from Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. And was it really a long distance shooter in college? Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. Johnson attacking, and it's blocked. And they get it back. The Admiral working his magic inside. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Michael Jordan on the wing. Rodman trying to break three. And the Bulls, another three. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Knocked away. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. That's tipped. San Antonio with the ball. Johnson, the pass to Robinson. Just four to shoot. No good on the shot, so the Bulls will take it the other way. And here's Longley. Outside Harper. Here's the three. Another three for Chicago. Their yeah, great outside shooting really fueling this run. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Elliott. And how about the interior defense here early on? They have really shut down the middle. I just love the determination on that backboard. Coming out of the gates really, really strong. He's playing with that one extra gear so far that none of the other guys have found yet. Impressive start here. That's five straight makes to start the game. Spurs trail by seven. Johnson surveying the floor. Jordan against Del Negro. Robinson left side. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Chicago making some changes. Kukoc comes in for Pippen. And Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Then for the Spurs. Person comes in for Elliott. And it's Jackson in for Del Negro.
five to shoot. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Kerr. Here's Rodman, and then Rodman with the dunk. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. So it's the Spurs now. The Bulls getting the bucket. Pass to Person. Here's Jackson. Puts up a three. Rodman grabs the miss. Long lay against Person. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Wennington, he's checked in for Chicago. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. San Antonio also making some changes. Purdue, he's checked in for Robinson. And it's Williams in for Duncan. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Offensive rebound. Simpkins passes to Kerr. On the wing, Kukoc. Bulls moving the ball around. And three from Jordan. Drains it from beyond the arc. Jordan's got nine points. Oh, great ball movement there. Got a piece of it. Kukoc with the steal. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. And there's Michael Jordan. The assist by Kukoc. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Poked away. Johnson outside. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Here's Johnson after the Bulls pick up two. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Bushler's checked in for Michael Jordan. One twenty-nine left to play in the first quarter. Johnson against Kirk to end the run. And Williams with the layup. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. One twelve left in the first quarter. And here's Kerr from the arc. Drops in the tray. They have been excellent so far. Coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Johnson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. That one off the back iron and out. Chicago leading by 17. Here's Bushler. And he banks in the layup. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Ataku coach from deep. And the Bulls, another three. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Del Negro, he's checked in for Johnson. Yeah. 
here's Williams. 16 seconds left in the first. San Antonio again missing. Pass to Bushler. Stolen by Jackson. And here we go. To stop the run. And Del Negro gets it to go. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. And so it's the Chicago Bulls closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We come back right after this. Just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. And that has helped them build an advantage here, playing with good focus and good energy. The Bulls leading by 20. Rodman is out there with Phil Wennington. Then there's Bushler, then it's Tony Kukoc, and it's Curry in a point. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. And the Spurs with possession. Cloaked loose. Here's Bushler, guarded by Jackson. And the shot's good from Bushler. Allowed any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Kukoc, rips down the breakaway slam. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. The pass to Elliott. Can't hit that one. And it's Chicago the other way. Here's Wennington. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Wennington's got his first bucket in this one. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. A different look now for San Antonio. Robinson's checked in for Purdue. And it's Duncan in for Jaron Jackson. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Elliott passes to Robinson. Keeps it alive. Looking to end the run. And Duncan gets it to go in. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. Has a number of moves to choose from. And that soft, delicate touch near the rim. A three-pointer is right on target. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. From outside the arc. But they'll get another chance. And he's still waiting to make his first shot for the night. Now 0 of 4. Here's Kukoc. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Kukoc has got four points now in the quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Del Negro kicks to Williams. Passes it to Robinson. Back to Williams. Lock at six. Here's Del Negro. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Kerr's shot is good. Kerr's got ten points in the game. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. That one goes in. 12 points for him. In the flick of a switch, going from defense to offense. That was great anticipation on the steal. A gamble that paid off. Here's Del Negro. Pass to Elliott. Robinson left side. Hey. 
One on one, fast break. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Tony Kukos taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for the Bulls. Persons checked in for the Spurs. Johnson comes in for Elliott. And he makes both free throws. Johnson with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. Chicago making a switch here. Bushel is checked in. Pass to Del Negro. Duncan outside. Over Jordan. No good from Duncan. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Love the recognition. Realizes that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. And the Spurs with possession. The Bulls getting the bucket. The finish and the dunk by Jordan. Good job there. Jordan getting them in transition, and he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. Greg, you played against uh, some terrific players, including the, the late, great Kobe Bryant. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on playing against Kobe. I mean, his passing is still tough, I'm sure, for many to deal with because he was just taken from us at such a young age. Uh, but this guy was a ferocious competitor and someone who showed us in life and in tragedy uh, that we need to make the most of every moment that we have here. You know, I just appreciated to really the fans getting to know Kobe once his career was over because I think he was able to let his guard down a little bit and show us a lighter side, a more compassionate side. That is an excellent point. Sharon Jackson's checked in for San Antonio. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Here's Johnson after the Bulls pick up two. And stolen by Jordan. In transition, here come the Bulls. And he goes in for the dunk. Love the recognition. Realizes that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. Now here's Johnson. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. At the elbow, it's Robinson. To stop the drought. That's his fourth miss from the floor. He's made two of his shots. Chicago with the ball. Defense has only allowed four points in the quarter. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Kerr kicks to Jordan. Sinks that one from the post. Jordan's got ten points in the quarter. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots. And the defense has not adjusted. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Luke Longley's checked in for Bushler. Simpkins comes in for Rodman. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. And San Antonio with the change here too. Purdue's checked in. Here's Person. A three-pointer off the mark. 
And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And San Antonio called for the foul. Foul. Elbow. Two. For Chicago, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. And so Jordan nails both of them. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the game. At the line for two. The first one falls. Yeah, and Johnson out there just orchestrating the offense. An unselfish point guard with a commanding presence. And Johnson drops them both. 17 seconds left in the first half. There's the pass to Harper. Here's Pippen. Outside Jordan. Outside Pippen. Over Jackson. Oh my goodness, with no time left on the clock. Without a moment to spare, he guts this one out. Coaches always talk about closing quarters strong. Can't do it much better than that. And so it's Chicago. Holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Chicago was looking great right away. Amped up and ready off the tip, they immediately went on an 11-4 run. They were hot as the first quarter came to a close, making all five of their last five shots of the period. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? I love the way they're getting after it in the paint. Moving bodies, attacking the rim, scoring at will. Sometimes teams try to hurt you with the three ball. They went right for the heart of the defense. Look at them to keep pounding it inside and staying physical. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, there are a few areas they need to improve on. But perimeter defense is priority numero uno. They got to be quicker to close out on the three-point shooters. And you got to prevent the open looks. They weren't fighting through screens. They're just not doing enough for any, especially outside. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. 
Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Now the Bulls with it on the court right now for the Spurs. They've got Robinson. Johnson is out there with Del Negro. And it's Duncan. And it's Elliott in at the three. And the basket by Johnson. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. And stolen by Jordan. And slammed up by Jordan. It's just one of those nights where Jordan can do no wrong offensively. And let's talk about the endurance to go along with it. Wow. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Robinson passes to Elliott. Outside for Robinson. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Del Negro. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And here's the fast break. Here's Harper. Back to Pippen. A beautiful reverse layup. Pippen's got eight. Ripping and running. They have a big advantage now in those transition opportunities. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Rodman. And Dennis Rodman with the slam. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. So it's the Spurs now. The Bulls getting the bucket. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. To the inside, here's Simpkins. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Simpkins got his first points in this one. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Pass to Del Negro. Shot to stop the run. The offensive rebound. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Man, I love watching Robinson work there in the paint. Possesses that strength and touch around the basket. The Spurs shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Chicago making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for Simpkins. And it's Kukoc in for Jordan. The Spurs also with the sub. Williams, he's checked in for Johnson. One shot. Yeah, and Robinson is a franchise-defining talent, a, a chiseled, powerful center, a remarkable leader. Shots good by Pippen. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. Only their first turnover of the game, taking terrific care of the basketball. Kerr's checked in for Ron Harper. Here is Elliott. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Right around three minutes into the second half. Rodman with the block. And the thing about Rodman, he, he's more of a position player defensively, but that time reaching up to swat it away. 
And look at it. A significant portion of their offense coming on those second chance opportunities. Pippen with it. Robinson picks him up. Shots good by Pippen. Pippen's got 12. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Tipped away. Here's Del Negro. Here's Duncan. And yep, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. And Kevin, I got to tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He'd better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. The free throw drops for Duncan. Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings. J just incredible. He's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. Duncan hits them both. So for the Bulls. Longley comes in for Rodman. And Bushler subbed in for Scotty Pippen. The Spurs also changing it up. Purdue comes in for Robinson. And Jaron Jackson subbed in for Elliott. Outside Jackson. Launches it. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Here's Wennington. The shot from the low post is good. Wennington's got his second basket. Yeah, and, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Just giving up way too many transition opportunities. Persons checked in for the Spurs. In for the Spurs. Chuck Persons. One fifty-seven left in the third. Del Negro, not enough on that one as it misses. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is, a lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Here is Kerr. He's got 14. Here's Bushler. Another three for Chicago. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. They get a hand on it. And even three on three break. From deep. But they get it back. From past the arc, connects from three-point range. Bushler's got six points in the quarter. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Here's Del Negro. And here we go again. The Bulls in transition. Up the court they go. Long lead passes to Bushley. Feeds to Kukoc. Here's Kerr for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Jackson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. That's the Spurs shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Jaron Jackson taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. You really get excited about Jackson's potential. 
the size, the agility, and the skill level to make an impact at both ends. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Simpkins, he's checked in for Winnington. Jordan comes in for Tony Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Johnson, he's checked in for the Spurs. Both free throws good from Jackson. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Spurs. It's blocked. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Twelve seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Bushler. Back to Harper. That will count. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! Yeah, now they are firing on all cylinders. That shot puts three more onto their lead as we head to the fourth. And so it's the Chicago Bulls able to put on a show for the agents. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Williams is out there with Simpkins. Then there's Harper. Then there's Bushler. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Banked in off the glass. Well, they've won the battle of transition buckets, and those easy points have helped them build this lead. It's such an advantage when you can get out and run and get a good look before the defense can set up. And, and Harper, hard to get around. A physical defender, he'll use that athleticism and reach for Pester scores. And it's the Spurs ball. Now Williams. That's tipped. You know, you look at the 2020 class for the Basketball Hall of Fame, Greg, some great names. Headlined by Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant. I mean, historic players. And all the more emotional, Kevin, having Kobe enshrined after his tragic passing. But yes. when you look at the accomplishments of this class, arguably the most decorated that the Hall of Fame has ever seen. And Greg, you've gotten a bird's eye view. You've gotten a front court view. You've had a, a chance to, to be alongside these Hall of Fame players. Uh, incredible talents, great people, and, and truly they've been terrific ambassadors for our game. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Here's Harper, the big jump at the end of the break. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Brown is checked in for the Bulls. San Antonio also making some changes. Elliott's checked in for Person. Davis is subbed in for Brown. Purdue, the pass to Davis. Here is Elliott. Back to Davis. In transition, here come the Bulls. Here's Simpkins. Throws down the breakaway jam. 
Uh, okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Here is Elliott. Knocks it loose. It's Jones on the wing. And the Bulls, another three. Scott. And guys, they've allowed an embarrassing number of points off those turtles. Brown against Davis. Pass to Purdue. That's good by the big man out of Vanderbilt, Will Purdue. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And guys, you don't think this fella can do some major damage if he gets an opening to the rim. G.A., they just learned that lesson the hard way. <laughs> they better put a little bit more effort into their D the next time down. The defense has to feel real embarrassed right now. They totally got school on that highlight reel play. Well, in the dunk contest, we saw Michael Jordan take on Dominique Wilkins. These days, not as many star players are participating in these skills competitions, like uh, Greg the slam dunk. I think it's a great point you raise, Kevin, and, and I think in part because back in that era, you know, the reality is guys didn't make the kind of dollars they make today. Uh, and there was more risk, I guess, in the mindset of guys today, and they did, didn't want to take that challenge on. So I, I, I wish we could see more of our stars in the slam dunk contest, but yes, I yes. don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately. As, as much as we'd all like to see it. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Now here's Williams. Down low. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Chicago making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. One shot. And the free throw, no good. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 19 to six run. Bucket is good. Jordan's got 36. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. Got a piece of it. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. 153 left in the fourth quarter. Davis against Brown. And now it's Brown running. He can go all the way. And the dunk by Jordan. And right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. Purdue against Brown. And the layup's good off the glass. Brown's got his first two points. San Antonio with the ball. The drive by Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Here's Davis. Last year, LeBron, as we know, Steve, broke Derek Fisher's record for most postseason wins. Talk about the weight of that accomplishment. You know, Kevin, let's take those two players. Start off with Derek Fisher. Give him a lot of credit. As a role player, he was on some great teams and contributed. Unbelievable to have that record. And then on the flip side, LeBron James was on some great teams, and he was the reason they were great teams because he's one of those, one of the greatest players of all time. Two different type of players, but both are very impressive. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Here is Purdue. 
after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. 43 seconds left to play here on the fourth. The drive by Jordan and slam dunk by Jordan. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Williams, he's checked in for Wennington. Brown, he's checked in for the Spurs. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Oh, you, you hear that sound? That's uh, the yep. flushing of the toilet oh. right there. <laughs> Break a fierce two-hander. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. And so Brown will bring it up for the Bulls. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Outside Jordan. And that ball. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes a quick, solid decision. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin.